Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I've got some toys to show you. Um, this is not all of it. I've got something exciting at the end of the video. Um, which you probably maybe seen from the thumbnail, depending on what I take a picture of. Um, speaking of which, let me snap that. There we go. Um, okay. Come on, zoom out. Alright, so... Uh, let's just start with some toys here. So, first up, look at this bat cycle. This is amazing. Um, I'm a vehicle guy. Uh, I like vehicles and toys. Um, I've got to get another one of these. This is amazing. I want a, I want one of these for spawn. Um, to put my spawn on. I've seen someone who took this and they did a translucent red paint job over all the bones and put a spawn figure on it. It looked awesome. So I will be doing that. Um, God, that is just... Oh. Okay. Um, next up, found these at Walmart. I don't know if these I have the individuals. I think, but I don't know if I have these or not. Um, I don't know. I found the like I, they're turtle trucks. I don't know if I have them, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, next up. Repainted gold label spawn. So I've got all the versions except for like maybe the one that was at Target with like an axe or something. I don't remember. Um, either way, I love this yellow one. Uh, he stands out. Uh, the packaging is on, on it is awesome. Um, yeah, so really happy to find one. They had a sh ton of them at the store. So hopefully those will be out and available for everybody. Because that is an awesome figure. Um, second best spawn figure I bought this year next to the, uh, uh, Kickstarter one. Um, in my opinion, anyway, I like him better than the red versions that we've gotten all year. Um, next up, I'm not a pop guy, but I bought all the Ninja Turtle pops. Well, the recent Ninja Turtle pops for the most part. I got all of those guys back there. Um, but I ended up getting this Krang. Um... Just a fat little Krang. I like him. I like him very much. Isn't he cute? They didn't do the black dead eyes. And that's the thing that usually kills me on pop. So, um, yeah. Really happy about that. He looks good. Um, then, uh, I got lucky-ish. Uh, well, I'm lucky that I found these guys. Um... Target still sucks trying to find these things at them. Uh, I completely missed out on um, the uh, four pack of the undercover turtles. Um, so when I went into Target today, they had this, and the guy that was restocking the shelves wasn't the normal NECA rep, it was a Target employee, and he was a complete dick. Um, he's the same guy who a week ago let one person buy all the undercover turtles, but this week he wouldn't let me buy a set for me and a set for a friend. Um, and he wouldn't even actually let me look through the pile to see, cause we got Rasputin and Genghis and they're supposed to be the two other frogs. Um, he wouldn't even let me look through the pile to see. I kept telling him like, Hey, there might be another one in there, but he's like, no, they're all the same. I was like, no, you don't understand. Like there are two, four frogs total. And he just, he wouldn't even let me look. He was like, nope, you get one. That's it. All right. All right, buddy. All right. Either way, I'm happy to get some frogs. Um, hopefully I'll find the others at some point in time. But, um, those, here, let me kind of come in a little bit closer on these for you. So you got the frog, you got a mask and a hat and an extra face. Um, you got an axe, a bow. I don't know 100% sure what this little thing is down here. I haven't done a review or looked really into it. And then we got the other frog face and a bow. I 
they look pretty good. Um, I have, if you haven't noticed back here, I got two of my Super 7s. Those are the only ones I've opened so far out of all of them. And, uh, so far I'm a NECA, NECA over Super 7, man. That, uh, articulation on those suck. Um, the fact that Bebop can't even look down, so, like, he just looks up the whole time, so, like, you can't even get him to look down at a turtle, which, I'm, if you see my Bebop review, uh, it's not good. Um, those are, they, they look okay standing there, but, yeah, the NECA's, uh, even though they're smaller, NECA fan. I know they're different aesthetics, but, um, alright, so, let me get into the good stuff. Um, I'll pull this out here and then kind of tell you what happened. So, we have a vintage, um, Tiger Rat with Sky Striker. Um, if you guys don't know, let me uh, show you here. I am a bit of a Rattler fan. Rattlers. Um, so, um, friend of the comic shop uh, called me a, or sent me a message and said, hey, we've got these two items for you. Uh, are you interested? And I thought about it for a while and said yes. So, um, I decided if I was going to get these, I really didn't want to have to come out of pocket for these three items that I'm going to show you. Um, and I'll, I don't like talking about money, but I don't know if it was a good deal or not. So let's, we'll, we'll talk about it. But, um, I had a bunch of statues that I, was toying around with getting rid of anyway. Um, so I had uh, alien, little tiny, the micro alien queen. I had a tiny predator, um, uh, about a six inch face hugger um, statues. Um, then I had three transformers, a bust Megatron, uh, the full size Palisades Starscream, and a tiny Palisades Cliff Jumper. And then I had. Um, uh, gallery select Jubilee, uh, Phoenix, and Joker. And then also a Death Note statue of, um, oh, what's his name? Roke, Raiku, Roke, whatever his name is. You know who he is if you watch Death Note. Um, uh, then I had the four piece uh Marvel vs. Capcom set with Mega Man and Iron Man and Chun Li and Captain Marvel. And I had two of the WWE uh Masters of the Universe wrestling rings that came with uh Hunter and uh or Triple H and um John Cena. Um so my plan my my goal when I looked all that stuff up Retail eBay prices was about eight fifty, um, and the stuff I was wanting to buy, uh, this. Let me just go ahead and show you the other one, or at least part of it. Uh, so these two, they wanted four hundred for, and the other uh, big item I'm going to show you, they wanted. They had recently brought down to two hundred. Um, so it was uh, about six hundred dollars total. So I told him at first, before I talked about the third item, I'll show you here in a sec. I told him I might be interested in these, and they said, okay, if you want both of those, we'll do 300 for both of them. Okay. Um, now, when I went in, I was told that this was complete, and they didn't really say whether this was complete or not. They said I asked about the helicopter because it wasn't showing the blade in the picture, so I said, does it have a blade? And she said, yes, it's complete. Never really asked about this. Um, so I... Uh, anyway. Long story short, I ended up selling my statues um, for 350 um, For all that stuff I said. Um, so... Anyway, with the other item that I got was... They were going to sell... I was going to get for... Uh, 200 
I ended up getting them to do it for 115 So basically got these two and this other large item for um, 415 for everything, which um, was quite a bit of money, but it wasn't a ton out of pocket. Um, most of it was, and I didn't have that much in the statues. I had, well, in my head I didn't. You know, over the years I probably had two or two hundred dollars in the statues. So, anyway, long story short, I got rid of some crap that I didn't want and got some crap that I really did want. So, yeah. Um, so let's. I'm going to pull the uh, tiger fly out of here for a sec. Um, and we'll check out this. So, vintage tiger rat. So, there are some issues with it. The uh, Gatling gun is going to have to be repaired. Now, I knew most of this stuff when I went into it. I didn't care because I just like tiger rats. I honestly would take them in about any condition. Um, and I knew what I was paying for this and the tire fly was a pretty good deal. Yeah. Really good deal. When you include the other item. Anyway. I may have gotten ripped off. I don't know. But I was happy to get another uh, tiger fly. Or tiger rat. Um, it was a vintage one. Because my other one's the 25th anniversary. Anyway. So I'm missing both of the, the front and the back for the engine. I've got the internal piece. Um, I'm missing one missile. I do have the black tip, so I'm just missing the red one. The landing gear is snapped off, but since I have an original, I can basically make a... Uh, I'll use that for measurements, maybe 3D print one, because I don't really care if it's an original or not. I just want it to look better. Um, these things were pretty dirty when I got them, so I've actually had to clean them up quite a bit. They were pretty black, like they've been sitting in an attic for years. Um... But, other than that, he's in pretty good shape. Now, one thing I didn't know, uh, I knew that this guy had a three-piece helmet. So, whenever I got it, um, I was very excited whenever I went there and didn't do my thorough check like I should have. Um, but, the helmet is not the right helmet. So, that kind of sucked because that helmet... That was one thing that I was like, whenever I seen it, I was like, man, that helmet's an expensive little piece. So if it's got the helmet, I'm fine with it. And I more or less never looked. And there's the little black missile that is like that one. Um, so that's my bad. And I don't have the battle damage panels. Um, so a little ways from being complete, but even with the helmet thing, like... I'm just such a big Rattler fan that I don't care. I want as many Rattlers as I can get my hands on. Um, I want to custom paint a couple. Um, I really want to do a light blue one um, and kind of airbrush it. Um, but I can't sacrifice one that's in good shape, so I want one that's in bad enough shape that I don't feel bad, but good enough shape that, like, I don't know. Like, if it was missing all the missiles and had a gun broken off, but it still had most of the parts and stuff or didn't have the panels. Like, I don't care about the panels. But, like, you know, the cockpits and the engine covers and stuff, like, I want all that stuff. So, but then once I get to that point, I'm like, oh, I'm so close to having it complete, then I end up completing them and I'm in the same boat. So, one of these days I'll find one that I can uh, custom paint. All right, we're running low on time because my phone's about to die so let's get to this all right so got the tiger fly um and you know i didn't even check to see if it was vintage or not uh, i'm assuming it is because it was had the same amount of black on it but i am not seeing a date anywhere on this thing oh here we go 1988, so that makes, that's right. Um, so it is, from what I can tell, complete, as far as the vehicle. Then, I also got Ricondo. And...
He does have his gun and his backpack. I've yet to check to see if those were the right parts, but I think they are. Um, they originally had, just on this guy, they were wanting $44.99 for him, I'm guessing. Um, then I have the blueprints, which I'm really happy about. I love these things. And I got the box. Um, someone's got a garage sale tag of $3 on it. This box was almost black. Uh, I scrubbed on this thing. Um, if I rub my finger, I bet. Yep, still dirty. You can see that on my finger. Yeah, still dirty. Gross. Um, these letters were almost completely black. So, the top was the worst. Um, but, all in all, the box is in pretty good shape. Um, well, my next vehicles to get is either going to be the tiger shark or the tiger fish because I really want to do the whole tiger force line I really like it for some reason um alright give me one second to clear these out and I'm going to show you the last big item or last item at all okay so I pulled out my vintage optimus prime just so you can see how big this thing is so let me pan up here a little bit. And there we go. This is the Sentinel. I think it's from Sentinel. Giant. Uh, let me make sure I'm saying the name right. Uh, I think it's called the Giant Action Scorponok. Um, he is a posable. And I'll do a review later on him. He is a posable giant Scorponok figure. Um, he does come with a few accessories. So you've got a shield that is like the size of my freaking arm here uh, that mounts on that side or that side or wherever. And then you've got his giant Nintendo zapper rifle that you know can plug into the hand. Um, and then you've got a face shield that I am not a fan of, but it is a thing that is there. And yeah, like I said, I'll, uh, do a review on him because, um, he's pretty, pretty rare. Um, I got a pretty good deal on him. At least I think I did. Uh... If you know Transformers, you kind of have a ballpark of what this thing goes for. Unfortunately, there are none that are sold on eBay because this thing probably costs uh, a ridiculous amount to ship or just maybe no one wants them. I don't know. I've been eyeballing this thing in the store forever. Uh, they've had it for a while. And I really, really wanted it. Um, so I was kind of waiting on a time where I could package some stuff together and hope that it was still there. So I felt like it kind of worked out. Um, I got three things that I really, really wanted, um, and I'm happy with the, uh, trades I made. I may end up regretting getting rid of those statues at some point in time, but as of right now, I'm pretty freaking happy with the whole trade, and, uh, I'm loving this giant Scorponok, so, anyway, see you guys later.